The Hallian interface offers an array of unique creative tools to encourage you to be as creative as possible in your own workspace. In this getting started video, we're going to have a good look around the interface. We're going to look at the different sections and we're also going to look at how easy it is to custom design your very own workspace to suit your own creative needs. The main Hallian control panel is made up of a number of different areas. You've got the keyboards, the quick controls, the MIDI trigger pads, the slot rack, the main editor section, the program tree, and under it, the program table. The program table will show you the programs that you have active and also drag programs out of the program table up into the slot rack to start working with them, or if they're empty, to start building sound. You can load presets into programs using the media bay, and you can just double click on them or drag them in to create a new program. You can load sounds out of the browser and you can also record your own sounds directly into Hallian. Next to the load tab, we've got the macro tab, which gives us easy access to parameters through this user interface. By clicking on the edit and sound tab, you can see the editors for whatever you have selected in the program tree. We're going to be using the program tree to create our very own sound. Everyone will use Hellion differently, and Hellion comes with a number of different screen sets. You can save your own screen set at the bottom of this menu, but first of all, let's take a look at how you can actually customize and configure a space to suit your needs. At the moment, the window's in default size, but I'm going to maximize it. Straight away, I can start to resize the different areas in this window just by picking up on them and moving them left or right or up and down. Click on the triangle icon in the top right hand corner of a window to split it, either horizontally or vertically, and then select an editor. And then it's a matter of moving it around to suit your needs. Notice everything moves intuitively so you're not losing sight of anything important. Once again, you click on the triangle and then just resize your window. It's really easy to set up multiple viewpoints of editors. For instance, I've got my wavetable editor on the left hand side and on the right hand side, I've got my sound editor or zone editor. So I can start working on that one particular sound and have access to all of my important parameters. I've just undocked this wavetable editor and now I can have that placed on an external monitor. In addition to screen sets, there's window sets. I'm going to load up the wavetable and browser window set, which gives me the wavetable editor and then the browser and zone using the tabs on the right hand side of the screen. Let's split this window again. I'm going to add the program tree. So now it's a matter of selecting the icon and resizing the window. Now I can see my wavetable on the left hand side. On the right hand side, I've got my program tree so I can select various elements. And now if I add the sound editor, whatever I have selected in the program tree will be visible in the sound editor tab. That's given me instant access to all of the things that I need to design a sound. And of course, I can save that and recall it at any point, just by going up to the triangle in the top right hand corner and saying, save window set preset. Once I name it, it'll be visible and I can recall it in the window set menu. If you've had a good crack at customizing your own workspace, but got yourself in a little bit of a tangle in the process, don't worry, it's easy to reset to the factory defaults. You just need to go up to the screen set menu and select default. And Hallian immediately returns to how it looked when you first loaded the software up. Some tabs will have their own set of sub tabs underneath, and you can add editors to these tabs by clicking on the plus button and then selecting the editor that you want. Take advantage of the factory screen sets or design your very own purpose-built screen sets that are going to be relevant to whatever it is you're doing in Hallian on a specific day. For instance, at the moment, I'm taking care of MIDI mapping. I can use the program tree to select samples and then see where they're mapped out on the mapping editor. Then I can right mouse click on the piano scroll down the bottom to see exactly what samples are mapped to that individual key. I've designed this window set for working with my wavetable editor. I can get access to my two wavetables on the left hand side. I've got my editors for the oscillators in the middle. On the right hand side, I've got my sub and I've also got my noise. I've got access to the program tree and I can also get access to the browser and the sound editor to start working on anything that I've got selected in the program tree. As you can see, Hellion has an incredibly creative and flexible interface and you can design your very own workflow to achieve whatever it is you need to achieve. There's plenty of other Hellion 6 videos around me here on this YouTube channel. Please subscribe to the VST channel and stay connected with us. Leave comments and tell us how you're being creative with Hellion. I'll see you in the next video.